today I show you how to enable an eSIM card on your iPhone. Here I have two SIM cards in this iPhone. There is one physical SIM which is inserted here and it's this one but I also have an eSIM but the eSIM is disabled, it's turned off. And I'll show you now how to enable it. It's very easy. You can go to the settings, open the settings then go to cellular. On the settings and cellular page I see here the primary physical SIM card and it's enabled. And then I have the eSIM that I disabled it before. And you can also add an eSIM. If you don't have it here, the eSIM you want to add, you could add the eSIM. When you press add eSIM, you have a few options. You can use transfer from nearby iPhone or use a QR code or transfer from Android. This is the eSIM I want to enable. So I press here. And then you see the name of the eSIM. You have the option to delete it, but if you need it now, it's good that you didn't delete it before. So when you turn it on, you will see the signal. It shows up there. So all you have to do here is press this toggle to turn it on and you will see the signal. It changes. And now you have two SIM cards. You have the physical SIM and the test, how you call, I call it, but this is just a label. You can change that. And you see the signal for each one. These are the same network, but you will have probably a different network and you will see the different network name there. Now both SIM cards are on and I can see details of this SIM card now. So here I have the information, the network selection, Wi-Fi calling, all these options, they are saved as you had them before, before turning this eSIM off. You can change the pin of the eSIM, the eSIM also has a pin and also you can turn off data roaming if you have it enabled and lots of options here. If you are in roaming, you can select a different network if it's a better signal for another network. This is how you enable an eSIM or a physical SIM. You could do the same with the physical SIM. This is the physical SIM card and if I had this off, I would only get the signal from the eSIM and I could turn it back on just like that. Very simple and you see all the options the same way. This is how you enable the line if it's already saved on your iPhone. If it's not saved already on your iPhone for eSIMs, you have to add the eSIM through another iPhone or with a QR code. If it's a physical card you're trying to add, you have to insert it here. This is the SIM card tray on the side of your iPhone under the volume buttons. I hope this helps you add an eSIM or enable the eSIM that you already had but you had it turned off on your iPhone. Thanks for watching.